gentle parenting discipline is not what you think. So you are trying to do gentle parenting and maybe you've been doing it for a while and you're like, what is the consequence for this behavior? How do I get my child to stop this? And if you are in that frame of mind, that's that gentle parenting discipline. In this video, when you are done watching this video, you are going to know exactly why it is not, and that's part of why it is not, what it is and how to approach it. So you correct behavior as a gentle parent. So you don't have to go back to yelling, threatening, punishing, or bribing to get your children to do something. Hello, my name is Marcela Collier. I'm a certified parenting coach and CEO of HIC Parenting Education Agency. We are a group of certified parenting coaches who help parents like you who've been trying to break their cycle, raise their children differently, applying all the tic tacs, the reels, the social media advice, reading the books, but they're still struggling to correct their children's behaviors, to connect with them at a higher level, to manage their triggers. We help those parents go from all that to creating a customized plan that works for them with the direct help of an HIC parenting coach every single week they need to apply this plan and help these parents. And if you feel like you want more direct guidance and working directly with one of our coaches, there is an application for you to fill out underneath, open the description of this podcast episode or go to apply.hicparenting.com, fill out the application with all the details so we get to know about you and at the end, you get to book a complimentary call with a member of my team to see how we can support you moving forward. Okay, so let's talk about gentle parenting and this, the discipline portion of gentle parenting. But before we go there, if you could please give me a like and subscribe to our channel because every single week we're here helping you go from frustrated to connected with your children. Okay, so number one, we already know that trying to, like, what is the consequence to stop this behavior? When we think about stopping behavior, we're already going outside of gentle parenting because gentle parenting is not about controlling our children. It's not about getting children to stop or do things because we said so. It's about seeing what they're needing and from there developing the skills they need in order to be successful. Let me give you an example. So my son, the other day, I was cooking lunch and then he was biting heads and he was pushing me. And then I had like the instinctual response, Latino response, say, hey, stop doing this. But then instead of that, I stopped for a moment and I said, what would the gentle discipline here, what will it be? What is he needing? He's looking for connection. He's just not assertive and <laughs> looking for that connection. And then I went down to his level and then he said, Tanti, what do you need? Then he said, I, I want to show you something. I'm like, okay, so what is a better way that you can show me that something? What is a better way to get my attention? Let's practice again. So gentle parenting is not about stopping behavior. It's about guiding our children so they have the skills to still express their emotions, feelings, needs, and their behaviors in a better way. It's not about shutting down behavior. It's about enhancing behavior, guiding it towards a better expression. So that's what it's not, and that's what it is. Another thing, gentle parenting discipline is not about doing the same things we were doing when we were doing traditional parenting, but with a gentler tone. I was watching a TikTok the other day and I saw a mom say, watch my gentle parenting. And basically she was threatening, she was blaming, she was dismissing her children with a very calm, collected tone. She was calm. She was collected. She was speaking softly. She was at their level. 
But then she was threatening to take their things away. She was blaming them. She was dismissing their feelings. And no judgment to her. We are all at different levels of awareness. And I was there as well back in the day. But gentle parenting is not about saying the same things we used to say with a gentler tone. That's why our HIC parenting coaches work on developing effective communication on the parents that we work with so they change their language from punitive language to positive language in a way that their children understand and they're able to respond back to you positively and you're able to see those changes in behavior. And you know what? The starting point is us. When we change our language, when we change the way that we say things, we see those positive changes in our children's language as well. If we have a condemning, a blame-driven language, that's the language that our children are going to use back to us and then we say it's disrespectful when they do it to us and we're doing it to them. So if... For example, my son, if I would have gone down to his level, hey, son, you're pushing me. Stop pushing me. If you keep pushing me, then you're not going to have this A, B, or C later. I might be connected. I might be calm. I might be speaking gently to his level, but I'm still threatening. I'm still punitive. The way to transition from there to positive parenting language is by us understanding our own cycles of blame, shame, guilt, and how to rewire them. And sometimes that takes more than just watching a video. It takes parenting coaching. But then going down the difference, see the difference. Hey, son, stop pushing me. You, you've been pushing me and then I don't like that. If you keep pushing me, then you're going to not have iPad for the rest of the day. So that, the difference between that and you are pushing me, son. I wonder what's going on. Ah, okay. So you wanted to show me something. Okay. So pushing is not a good way to get somebody's attention. Can we try this again? Maybe you can say, hey, mom, can you look at me, please? Let's try again. Do you see the difference? Not in tone, not in demeanor, because they're both calm, but in the way that we're framing our language. That is gentle parenting discipline. And that corrects behavior. That empowers the child. The first one just makes the child feel shameful, guilt, and afraid, even if we're speaking gently and softly. So. The main difference between gentle parenting discipline and traditional parenting discipline is not the tone, is the way that we say things, is the intention as well. If the intention is stopping and not guiding, then we're punishing, regardless of our tone. And that's gentle parenting discipline. But Marcela, I just cannot control my temper. If my child is pushing me, I will get so worked up. Then that's why us, HIC parenting coaches, are here to help you and guide you. And there was inside of you to work in your inner being first. So you are the strong foundation to be and show up for your children, you want to show up. If you say, I need that direct guidance, apply to HIC Parenting Education. Just type apply.hicparenting.com or open the description of this podcast episode. So what is the main takeaway that you take from this episode? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to give me a like and remember that it only takes understanding to transform your parenting. You watched it all the way to the end and I'm going to give you a gift for that. Scan this QR code and give us your best email. 
you're going to access a free class with the ultimate tools that has helped so many of our clients go from reactivity and frustration to peace and connection with their kids.